Let's write a C program to find biggest number in an array element. We start by assuming that the first number in the array itself is biggest. So we assign a of 0 to big. After that we start comparing it with a of 1, a of 2, a of 3 etc. And if there is any number which is bigger than the number present inside the variable big then we swap that number and we continue comparing until the end of this array which is a of 4. So at the end we print the value present inside the variable big which will obviously have biggest of uh, biggest number in that array. So let's write the C program. I'll assign 1, 3, 4, 8 and maybe 14. I'll take another variable i for for loop iterating through this array and a variable big to store biggest number and maybe pos position of that biggest number inside this array. So let's start by writing our for loop. I'll initialize i to 0 because index starts from 0 and iterate through this for loop until i is less than 5 which means i is equal to 4, 0 to 4, 5 elements. So before that let me initialize the variable big to a of 0 that is the first element of this array. Also pos position is 0. The index starts from 0 so position is 0. So inside this I'll write a condition if this big whatever the value is present inside this big is less than any of the values present inside the, vari the array variable. Also observe here big is assigned to a of 0. So we need not start comparing with that element itself. So instead we could start by comparing from a of 1. So I'll initialize i value to 1, skipping one comparison at least, okay. So coming inside this if block, if the value present inside big is less than a of i, then assign the value of a of i to big and also copy the position that is which is present inside variable i to pause. I'll add 1 to it because the index starts from 0. So I'll print out the result onto the console window. Biggest of percentage %d numbers is percentage %d at position percentage %d. Oh wait, we already know the size of array, right? It's 5. So instead of percentage %d, I'll write 5 here. Biggest of 5 numbers is. So the result is present inside big and pos. So let us run this program once. So biggest number is 14 which is present at location 5. So let's check that. Yeah, it's working. Biggest of 5 numbers is 14 at position 5. The last position. Okay. So now let me remove this and you let Let's ask the user to enter 5 numbers. So enter 5 integer numbers slash n. Let's write for loop not scanf. So initialize i to 0, loop through this for loop until i is less than 5, less than 5 means 4. So loop through this for loop from 0 to 4 and keep incrementing the value of i by 1 for each iteration of this for loop. I guess that's the only change we need. Everything is good. Initialize big to a of 0 that is the first element of the array. Okay let us check the output. I'll enter 1, 3, 2, 5 and 8. So biggest of 5 numbers is 8 at position 5 once again. So let us run it, run it once again. I'll enter 8, 1, 5, 9 and 2. So the biggest number is 9 at position 4. So let's improve our program a bit more. Whenever there is need to change the size of an array, we can't go on editing the source code like this. Even if we forget to modify at one place, we will start getting wrong results. To avoid that, we could make use of macros. So I'll define a macro. Macro name is n macro expansion is 5 so let me replace this 6 with n macro name percentage d the value is present inside the macro n n percentage d n oh one more place here okay so let me compile and run this program 
let me give 10 5 6 8 and 9 so 10 is biggest at position 0 so let me change that 0 to 1 first position okay now let me run this once again so I'll give 10 2 5 9 and 3 biggest of 5 numbers is 10 at position 1 okay so let me change this macro expansion 5 to 10 see we are modifying only one line of code and we don't touch anything else and it works that's the beauty of using macros so 1 5 6 8 12 18 5 maybe 20 15 and 16 so biggest of 10 numbers is 20 at position 8 okay so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so let me show you another method to calculate biggest of biggest number in this array let us remove all these things don't worry you will get this source code on our blog link to which is present inside the description section of this youtube video so here itself i'll check if this is the first iteration that is i value is zero that means it's the first iteration okay in that case so let me come inside and write something here big is equal to a of zero if it's the first iteration then initialize the value of big to the first element you could directly write a of zero or a of i also works so the position is whatever is present inside i plus one right or if it's first iteration get inside and execute this code or if big value of big is less than a of i in that case also execute these two lines of code okay so for two conditions it must execute either if it's the first iteration of this for loop or else when the the value present inside big is less than the value present inside a of i in these two cases the code inside this if block should get executed so remember either of these conditions must be true okay not both of these condition should be true either of these conditions should be true to execute the block of code present inside that if block so let us check that i'll give one five nine three seven four six ten five and eight five and eight the biggest of ten numbers is ten at position eight so we have ten numbers ten nine and eight and that's working so let me change this uh, macro macro expansion from 10 to maybe 5 and check this once again so everything else remains the same I'll give 1 5 6 3 and 0 so biggest of 5 numbers is 6 at position 3 1 2 and 3 and that's working so let me explain this for loop once again please concentrate uh, at least now if you didn't get this so I'll I'll explain this with an example okay so remember I is 5 here sorry n is 5 here okay this for loop executes from 0 to 4 so the first iteration I value is 0 so a of 0 the first number user has to enter if user enters 2 let's assume user enters 2 so i value is 0 so the block of code inside this if gets executed that is big is equal to a of i so what is a of i a of i is 2 big is equal to 2 a of i is 2 by the way so 2 now pos position is equal to i plus 1 what is i's value i is 0 so 0 plus 1 is 1 now i plus plus gets executed here so i increments to 1 now 
user has to enter value for a of 1 the second position inside this array okay so 1 is less than 5 which is true so now user has to enter value for a of 1 so user might enter assume that user enters 4 now i is 2 so this is false but let's check this big is 2 right a of i which is a of 1 is equal to 4 so 2 is less than 4 so again these two lines of code gets executed big is equal to a of i so what is present inside a of i 4 so 4 will be assigned to big so pos is equal to i value is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so pos is 2 now again i plus plus gets executed so i value is 2 now so 2 is less than 5 again the control enters this for loop user is prompted to enter the value for position a of 2 assume that user enters a number 3 now this is not the first iteration so big is 4 4 is less than user entered number 3 which is false so exit this again i increments by 1 so i value is 3 now and we need to enter value for a of 3 so maybe user enters a value 4 here so let's check that so i is 3 3 is less than 5 which is true so user is prompted to enter a number user enters 4 i is not equal to 0 so let's check this big is 4 a of 3 is 4 4 is less than 4 no so it exits if condition so i is 4 now so a of 4 is maybe user enters a value 5 so 4 is less than 5 which is true so user is prompted to enter value for a of 5 now sorry a of 4 now so user might enter a value 5 here so i is not equal to 0 i is 4 so the next condition big is less than a of i so big is 4 now 4 is less than the new user entered value which is 5 yes true so these two line of code gets executed so we need to store the new value 5 inside big now and what's the value of pos i plus 1 i is 4 plus 1 is 5 so now i increments so now i is 5 so now again the comparison 5 is less than 5 which is not true so the control exits this for loop okay now outside this for loop we print the values of big pos okay so what's the value of big 5 so before that let's see what's the array these are the values of array elements of array so a of 5 is equal to 2 let's have this for our reference 4 3 4 and 5 so the biggest is 5 in this and the position is also 5 so let's input this these elements and check the result so I'll give 2 4 3 4 and 5 so biggest of 5 numbers is 5 at position 5 that's what we saw that okay so position is also 5 so that's working clearly so this is how we find first biggest or the biggest element in an array so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog please share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.